Good evening and welcome to Virtualize Everything. Tonight's presentation is going to be about unprivileged first privileged LXC containers. So it's actually deceivingly simple, the difference between unprivileged and privileged containers. This can get more detailed and more in depth if you would like, but today's video is just meant to let you know the difference so you can make a semi-informed decision when choosing which container. I will also, at the end of this video, make my suggestion on what you should do for creation of containers. Please consider commenting below if you agree or disagree with my opinion, as I have little experience on this topic and just have developed an opinion based on some of the reading I did. You will notice some of these articles that I read coming in as we talk through this slide. So really the only difference between a unprivileged and a privileged LXC container is the user groups and user IDs for your container in an unprivileged container are different than that of the root host or host operating system. This means that it is much harder to escape a unprivileged container and gain root access to your host operating system, further infecting your network and all other operations inside of your network or virtualization server. In a later video, I will show you how to escape a privileged container and gain root access to an LXC container. But as of right now, you just need to know that it is much easier to escape a privileged container than an unprivileged container due to the fact that a privileged container uses the same user and group IDs as that of your host operating system. My suggestion for using unprivileged versus privileged containers is to always use an unprivileged container. Although it can make file sharing from the host operating system to the container more difficult in scenarios where you would like to do that. It's still far more secure and possible to share files between a unprivileged container and the host operating system. So it only takes a few more steps for greatly improved security. The decision is yours but I always like to err on the side of security. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our video and our channel to help our channel grow and help us bring you more informative content about the world of virtualizing. As always, have a good night.